Left 4 Dead PC short game review. This picks up two weeks after an infection of a pathogen similar to rabies has hit Pennsylvania. There are four immune survivors who you take on the roles as as you try to fight your way from one safe location to another in the eventual search for a an opportunity of rescue. There isn't much of a narrative here, but it isn't particularly required. The four characters are distinct enough that and they're properly established by every so often speaking and yeah, expressing their personality that you feel like you are in a zombie flick with you know as one of these four people and in general, this just really is the game of a zombie film. There are hordes of zombies you might be fighting dozens at a time, thus giving all four players, even armed with automatic weapons and, you know, maybe ten clips for it, they'll still have something important to do and they'll still have a proper challenge. And this is a challenge for any pretty much any experience level. There are four difficulty settings, so you can get into it whether you're new to first-person shooters or, or a veteran. The zombies are weak, but in high number they can overpower. They run, crawl, and roar at you, and there are special infected as well, which can which have powers that can slow down uh, the survivors and keeping in mind that there's only at any point four of the players. One survivor getting incapacitated by one of these special infected and another survivor having to help them back up, that's half the team that's indisposed. The game has a great post-apocalyptic atmosphere to it with a very creepy score and everywhere you go you just see the remains of the, the war to stay alive, the battle between infected and survivors. It's heavily focused on cooperative play with all four having to look out for each other, heal each other, help each other up. And in general, it is at all times required to really think about what, what the other players might need you to do. And yeah, you have responsibilities and that's why it's consistently entertaining. You always have some role, there's always something you can do to make yourself extremely useful to the others. And it is a really addictive game, in spite of its relatively simple concept. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.